Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org and today we're looking at a new VPN, Encrypt Me. So you know how it's gonna go down. We're gonna break it down, give you all the details, and of course, if you'd like to see a rip-roaring, comprehensive written review, head on over to security.org. Be sure to check that out. All right, so let's kick off our look at Encrypt Me by going over some things we like, some things maybe we didn't like so much, but let's remain positive for the moment and talk about what we liked. Well, we like the fact that it gives you unlimited connections on unlimited devices. Now, you know, be ethical about it, but you can have all your devices all the time going at the same time, and it's not gonna be a big deal with Encrypt Me. Uh, additionally, when it comes to putting all those devices on at the same time, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just tap toggle, they make it really easy for the consumer to just dive into a location. And finally, if you don't wanna VPN forever, uh, maybe you don't need it for you know most of the time, maybe you happen to be spending a, a week away, well, you can get that weekly pass. You don't have to sign up for a full month with Encrypt Me. So when it comes to what we don't love about Encrypt Me, it has to be the fact that they don't offer you a ton of advanced features. You know, you easy enough to jump into one place or another, but you can't really split tunnel. Uh, you don't have a kill switch. Um, you don't even have the ability to choose from a multitude of protocols. You can really just toggle between UDP and TCP. So let's talk about the functionality of a VPN and Encrypt Me specifically. Now a VPN helps you to mask your location. So I'm here in New York, but maybe digitally I'd like to be in Atlanta, or maybe I'd like to be in London. Well, that's what a VPN is gonna help me to do. It's going to basically set my IP address to be in another space. So a lot of utility in VPNs and Encrypt Me does give you a respectable number of places to go. It has over 70 locations in 40 countries. So if I need to be in Japan, I can be there. If I need to be in New Delhi, Mumbai, I can be there with Encrypt Me. So really a lot of utility in that uh, for me. Um, and a, like I said, a respectable number of cities. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about the performance with Encrypt Me. Now, when I talk performance in this sense, I'm really talking about speed. Now, when it comes to speed with Encrypt Me, I wanna be clear that this can be very dependent on the variables affecting you, like ISP, um, what you're actually using, you know, just anything that goes into everyday speed. Even here in New York with my Fios, uh, I consistently have different speeds from day to day. And in our case, we were testing this on a Mac on the West Coast and my iPhone here on the East Coast. Uh, and of course, I was using it, you know, with my Mac and things here on the East Coast as well. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in uh, to those speed tests. Now, starting off with my iPhone numbers here in New York, uh, my control test, meaning without Encrypt Me's VPN toggled on, I was able to get 135 megabytes per second download speed and 92 megabytes per second upload speed. Now, I went a little further north of the border to Montreal, where I was able to get a download speed of 54 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 99 megabytes per second. So somehow it actually increased my speed uh, from when I took that control test. Uh, when I went over to Johannesburg, South Africa, I got download speeds of 34 megabytes per second and upload speeds of 13 megabytes per second. So a lot of variability, as you can see, on my iPhone here in New York. Now, moving over to our iMac testing on the West Coast, I was able to get a control speed of 251 megabytes per second download, but just 22 megabytes per second upload. So a lot of, lot of gap there. Uh, when I went over to Paris from this location, uh, we got 141 megabytes per second download speed and 21 megabytes per second upload speed. Switzerland gave us 190 megabytes per second download speed and 20 megabytes per second upload speed. And finally, Brazil gave us a speed of 165 megabytes per second download speed and 14 megabytes per second upload speed. As you can see, with the iMac, we're able to get pretty solid speeds even while using Encrypt Me VPN. Briefly, I wanna talk about the plan options with Encrypt Me. Now with Encrypt Me, you of course have the opportunity to buy a month pass or a year pass, but what's cool about Encrypt Me, it gives you the ability to buy your VPN for just a week. Uh, and if you would like even more flexibility uh, for you or those around you, they have family plans, they have team plans. If you know, you're part of some type of team that you know really necessitates using a VPN, which is probably most teams, uh, that is available. Now, all the information on the plan options, the family plans, the team plans can be found over at security.org. Check it out. All right, so we've gone over a lot of facts, a lot of details on Encrypt Me, but we wanna see what it's like to actually use it on the day-to-day. -day. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out that experience. So here I am checking out the mobile application for Encrypt Me. Now you can note I'm currently masking my identity uh, by being in Italy. So using Encrypt Me uh, to mask that location. And it's an easy toggle on and off. You can see that big button 
uh, in the middle that says encrypted. Now, if I wanted to jump into another location, I'd go to the bottom left-hand corner and you'll see this transporter. Now, as a Star Trek fan, uh, I love anything called transporter. That's just kind of uh, what I'm gonna be into. And I like that you have various options. You can go to the fastest available, or you can just decide by continent where you would like to be. So if I wanna go into Africa, you know, uh, my brother studied in South Africa, visited, really nice. Um, and I can switch over into South Africa, and now I'm connected to a Johannesburg um, server. Now, if I were to decide to go into another space, like let's say Europe, a place we frequent often, here at security.org is Paris. So let's go down to France, and you know you have a couple of options when it comes to France in terms of cities where they have servers. So you have Bordeaux, and you have Paris, uh, and I can dive into Paris, and it's gonna go ahead and change me over from South Africa uh, to France uh, inside of the uh, Encrypt Me application. Now, finally, uh, you do have a few other spaces where you have uh, different locations in terms of uh, more than one city. So you've of course got you know South America and the various countries, but when it comes to multiple cities in one space, uh, it's actually interesting that you have Canada. So in Canada, you have Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver are all available, all lovely cities. So we go ahead and jump into Montreal, which is not too far from us here in uh, New York. Uh, you'll see that now I'm connecting to that and now I'm secure and for all intents and purposes, my location is Canada. So that's our look at the pretty bare bones, uh, minimalist, let's say, uh, mobile application for EncryptMe. Now let's check out EncryptMe on my Mac. So you'll see that right at the top, it tells you what network you're connected to and from there you can decide to secure my connection. And that is going to put you into the EncryptMe VPN, uh, allowing you to enable it. And now you're masking your location. Now, if I wanted to see other places that I can go to for masking my location, I can go to that top left-hand corner and you'll see that there are a ton of different um, locations available to you, or at least a significant number of locations available to you. So you have Africa with Nigeria and South Africa, Asia with about seven countries there. And you'll note that India gives you a couple of different uh, options. You have Mumbai and New Delhi, uh, along with you know Japan, Philippines uh, generally. Then you have Europe, North America. And what's great about the North American one is that both Canada and United States give you multiple locations to dive into. So I can be in um, Montreal or Toronto or Vancouver in the United States. I can be in really a lot of cities from my hometown of Nashville uh, to the nation's capital, to Hotlanta, uh, to where I actually am in New York City. And you also get a little bit of flexibility and diversity um, of location when it comes to where you'd like to be in Australia, from Brisbane to Melbourne to Perth uh, to Sydney. So really like that. Uh, they make it pretty straightforward, give you that continental look. Uh, that kind of breaks things up a bit uh, in terms of what we've seen from VPNs. So if you jump into the upper right hand corner where you see that gear, uh, you'll actually be able to jump into some of the advanced options and they're you know, keeping it pretty minimal. Uh, you have the ability to change your connection protocol from UDP, which is a little better for performance, uh, to TCP or just toggle between the two as you see fit. So that's my look at EncryptMe's Mac app. So let's wrap it up today and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on EncryptMe. Now, EncryptMe does a great job of allowing me, Gabe, to be anywhere I wanna be in the world and mask my location uh, just by tapping on that toggle, on and off. And I am secure, I encrypt, uh, I'm in a different place. Um, and that's really useful. Now, is it giving me the most advanced features? No, if, if you're the kind of person who wants to, you know, have specific BitTorrent server set up, a uh, specific streaming server set up, um, you're not the target market for EncryptMe. Uh, this is for the person who needs, you know, access to about 40 countries who wants to be able to jump in easily uh, and who wants to be able to, you know, use it to match their location. They do that admirably. Not the most robust comprehensive VPN out there, but if you just want to get on the internet with an unlimited number of devices, unlimited number of connections with decent speeds, uh, you're going to get that with EncryptMe. Thanks for watching our review of EncryptMe. Now, if you appreciated today's video, maybe give us a like. Drop us a comment, we'd love to hear from you, or even potentially subscribe to our channel, security.org. We're trying to bring you the newest in-home and digital security reviews each week 
tips, guides, comparisons, best stuffs, uh, whatever works for you. Um, that's what we're trying to provide. Now, of course, if you'd like to see any of the relevant links, they can be found in the description below. And if you, you know, would like to read our comprehensive written review, you can check that out over at security.org. So once again, my name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure. <laughs>